I guess we'll start with the fact, Coach. You made it a little closer back there. Let's start back in the first half. 10-point Rice lead. It kind of felt like their size was kind of affecting. You touched on it that they had four starters in there, and then you made what I thought was one of the, um, I guess, first strategic calls and getting Ashley in there. Westby and her size, 6'3", kind of settled some things down. Also thought it did it again in the second half. Was that something that you saw that you thought would, would help out? Well, I thought she and Chinway both gave us some size in there. And Tiffany had this, those fouls in the first two minutes. And, uh, you know, we, we went in there and, and the big kids, I, I thought Westby played really well. I thought Chinway made a couple really good moves in there. So that was good to see that we, we had some, some presence. Um, we went to a zone, and, and when we went to that zone, just having a bigger player in there really helped us. We left them around the basket, which, which helped. So, um, but I, I, I thought Rice shot really well. I mean, they're a team that just doesn't shoot that well, and they shot the lights out at, at times tonight. When we went in there in half and they were over 40%, that, they just don't do that very often. Yeah, in the pregame, you touched on the ball handling. You can see if they can handle it. You started out the game by pressing, and they handled it pretty good, and they were knocking down the shots you said got hot. That's when I, I think you saw – uh, to go to zone. Well, and I thought we could find Custer a little better in that zone, although she hit a three. She was one for 11 before tonight, so now she's two for 12. But, um, yeah, I did feel like that we didn't lose her as much when we were in man. You know, we, we were in help side and things like that, and we lost her on this rebound. So we were able to, to rebound a little bit better um, in the zone. We did make some mistakes. They did get some, some fouls. So they were in one and one pretty early, which was a little concerning. What about Custer's ability to kind of keep her really from getting back into the game? She had 13 points at halftime. During the halftime show, I'm like, hey, she's going to be able to um, <laughs> you know, easily reach that 16-point average that she has on the season. But you take a look at it, and you uh, did a pretty good job. Well, you know, one of the keys is obviously her offensive rebounding. She just does – she scores a lot on her offensive rebounding. Right. So one of the things – we gave her one offensive rebound tonight, which was really important. Um, we, we did give uh, the rest of the team quite a bit. Right. Um, but I, I think that's, that's something we really concentrated on. We did, we did a pretty good job with that. And, and keeping her under a double-double um, is, is pretty important. 44-30, to 30, uh, Rice out lead down on two lane today. I'm sure one of the other things you can't wait to get into practice is free throws. Uh, I had it written down here somewhere with it, 4 of 13 or something of that nature towards the end in the second. Well, we were 12 for 23 for the game, and, yeah. and we're number one in the league in free throw shooting. And, you know, that's uh, Ashley had four, and, and she was one for four. Uh, and, uh, you know, Danielle usually hits her. She's she's in the 70%. And, and you know, some of the people you look at Tiffany Dale, she missed two tonight. Uh, they're usually ones who hit it. Um, you know, I, I don't really know why. But we're, we, one of our goals was to get to the free throw line more because I felt like we weren't aggressive enough. And, and uh, we, we did do that tonight. We just didn't capitalize on it. Got to imagine, final question, two games back-to-back -back in conference play on the road. There were points in both games where the team led, either the lead got away or got really close, and even here at the end, and they were able to handle it. Is that part of the maturation process, and that's something that you're very proud to see on your team on the road with everything that goes on? Well, I think we do a pretty good job. I, I thought we, we made a couple mistakes. We, we took a shot a little quick. Uh, I think Olivia took a shot a little quick. Um, in one of the offenses, and then I wanted uh, Turtle to have that ball at the end, and she passed to Danielle. And not that Danielle can't shoot him, but when when you're leading the league in free throw shooting, you really want to have that person with the ball, especially when we had the jump ball. I, I would just want her to just cover it up and let him and make a jump ball, and we'll, we'll start again. But um, we are doing a good job. We're getting the ball up the court. We're we're defending. The nice thing is we're getting stops at the end, which was nice. And um, I thought Janique played a really good game tonight. I, just defensively, she had her hands on everything. She attacked. It was kind of like the Janique we saw early in the, in the season, and it was good to see her having that confidence. All right, well, nice win, 13-3 and three on the season now, 2-1 and one more importantly in conference play. Congratulations, Coach, and now we'll see you on Sunday. All right, thank you. All right, Sunday.